Hey guys, my name is Alex. I'm making these videos now. I'm going to start making them every week for my team at the barbershop, the barber room, with the goal of helping everybody in the shop learn how to cut and, you know, go through techniques that they might need help on. I'm also going to be uploading them on YouTube, Instagram, IGTV, and stuff like that. So anyone have any questions, message me through those outlets. But right here, we're going to do a number two on the sides, comb over on top. Uh, as you see, we're parting the haircut, kind of styling it how it's cut. So what I started out doing here is I did the two closed and I'm gonna end up opening up the guard. So that's really what I should start should have started out doing, uh, which is what I'm doing now. So that's the two open. Um, I suggest starting out with that just to get the bulk out of the way. See how I'm angling the clipper, depending on where the hair is directed. So if it's coming down at an angle, cut against it and work your way around it like that. When you're doing these areas here, make sure that you hold the longer hair on top, especially if it's parted, that we don't end up cutting into that hair with the number two and a half and creating a big gap there. So go ahead and clean everything up there. Make sure you go over it a couple of times. I like to always almost detail in a way while I'm working, um, while I'm doing the haircut, that way I don't have to go back and do a whole lot. I always end up doing this with any client that gets a two, three, four, five on the sides. I'll go down with a lower guard now where I'm using. So if I'm using the two, I'll go down to the one or the one open and I'll taper the bottoms. So what that does is it, that still leaves the length on the sides and you're tapering, creating that blend towards the bottom, which gives it a really nice slick look. People come into your barbershop, uh, especially if you're charging higher end prices and stuff like that. They come in to get a unique experience, unique haircut. Sometimes they want some sort of blend look, but they don't want to go bald. They feel that it's, you know, that you're gonna give them a bald fade. But I always end up doing this, knock that out the way. Um, a lot of times I work um, either on one side, then the back, then the other side. Um, here for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna do one side at a time. The detail work, with your edges and your lines is very important. Um, so make sure that you are using the right trimmer. You don't have it zero gap too much to where it's cutting people. So make sure that you look at that. Um, go over it a couple times. Like I said, I usually go over it and try and leave it as perfect as I can. That way I don't have to go back and do as much detailing. Um, so go ahead and, and be precise. You don't have to be fast. Just go a little slow. Use both of your corners on your trimmer, lay it flat where you need to, and follow the hair. Sometimes the hair will lay a certain way, go against it, clean up all the neck area, behind the ears, all that kind of stuff. A lot of the times what I do also is I'll get the shaver and you know go along the lines with it so so it's not, um, it doesn't leave any hairs, um, it almost looks like you've shaved it. So on this side, you don't wanna go with the same angle and the same position with the haircut as the other side because the hair is combed over to this side. So you don't wanna go uh, flat on the head and create an inward fade. Make sure you're pulling out towards the top of that because you need a lot more hair there um, to be able to create that blend. Right here, as you can see, there's a lot of hair that's left there even with the number two guard. That's one of the main reasons why I started doing a guard or a guard and a half less than or, or below what I was using to remove that excess hair which makes it look incomplete and kind of give it that blend. Um, on this one I did a two open and then I close it a little bit and then I'm doing the bottom tapers as I did on the other side so I'm using the one closed one open and the one and a half closed one and a half open so you'll kind of play around with it um, I like to stay and create a guideline that way I know that with my one and a half or my one I don't need to go past that dark line up top that I created that's kind of like my guide so I can stay below that still keep that nice transition watch how I'm using just the very corners of my trimmer and I'm being very careful because you don't want to lay it flat and then go into the opposite side um, the other side of the ear and then you kind of mess up that arch that you're creating so
go ahead and remove any facial hair that's needed. And here we're doing the little corners. Watch how I'm doing the corner because I want to show you how many um, times it takes for you to actually clean up the spot. So you have a lot of videos that you're making and you know, you know might show a one or a two strokes there and you think well I'm not getting that outcome and I'm doing it one or two times but in reality it takes a little bit longer than one or two tries or one or two strides to get that that clean look so you'll have to go over it a couple times um, same for the side of the hair here you don't you're not gonna get that clean look with just doing it two or three times make sure that you're going over it and, and turning the chair at different angles so you can see longer hair and take care of that so here I'm going with the three open and I'm kind of gradually going up and going up and, and pulling out a little bit towards towards the top that way I can leave that long hair to create that blend A lot of the times people go in too far and take too much hair off so at the end it looks a little bit off so be really careful go a little slow uh, don't take too much off continue to comb the hair um, the way that they're gonna style it that way you're better conditioned to cut the hair um, the right way uh, because if it's a comb over you're not gonna brush the hair forward and then comb it and then go through with the haircut and then comb it to the side it's going to be off and you're going to need to blend more so continually uh, check yourself and make sure that you are combing it and combing it and combing it and that we are taking off the right amount of hair what we want to do is that we want to we want to create a haircut that whenever you hop out of the shower or it's just dry or however it's going to look like a haircut you know what i mean it's not going to be something that you have to pull up you know put a massive amount of gel or pomades to get that look um and then it's all uneven on certain sides and you know you have to style it in order for it to look good um we're wanting to create something that you know if you have to get up and go to work and or take the kids to school or something you know you know all you got to do is wet the hair it's cut into that shape of the comb over so Watch the angles, watch the sheer, you know, watch the amount of hair you're taking out, watch the angle of your knuckle, um, watch all of that and go around the whole back of the head, the whole side of the head and start taking out those shorts. Um, you'll kind of have a short from the three and a half or the, or the four close and then you can grab that and meet it, you know, cut it with your shear and kind of make that, make that even. Use a lot of shear over comb. Um, that's going to give you a very good, very good detail process. Um, as you can see, I blended it first as much as I could, and then I'm going back, and then I'm, I'm you know, blending the size of the shear over comb, which I'll come back to in just a second. So here, um, I kind of got a little bit of the wrong angle when cutting the top, um, but I just cut about half an inch off the top. So. All I'm doing is grabbing the hair, uh, combing it forward, grabbing the hair in the middle, um, cutting it all the way back, and then going towards the side. You kind of want to leave um, a little bit of longer hair on the side that it parts, and it's going to come down at an incline towards the other side where it lays. Um, that way, you don't want to cut it the same length as you're doing on this side where you have the part because then it's just going to stick up so watch the angle that I'm using with the clipper over comb I'm just trying to grab the hairs to whichever way they, they lay that way I can create a better blend um, and as you can see this is almost just detail work detail blending I don't really blend um, using shear over comb um, or clipper over comb 
I use guards, and then I use just regular haircut techniques from the top. I tend to lift up the hair there a little bit because a lot of times when we have lines towards the ridge, those lines aren't actually on the ridge. They're, you know, probably hair from the middle that's laying over to the side and creating that weight. Um, here I'm coming in with the thinning shears and creating a little bit more of a blend. I don't fade with thinning shears. I only detail. Um, anybody that's fading with thinning shears understand that you have to create a blend first to remove the weight um, because what thinning shears do is that they remove half or a little bit less of half of the hair and still leave longer hairs there which then you'll have to come back and cut or it's going to be off. So make sure that you're blending the haircut first and then detailing and removing weight with the thinning shears. Um, you don't want to just come in and, and start trying to blend with thinning shears. Um, I, as you can tell there, I did a little blow drying there to the front. I um, want to start getting that little angle of, not the angle, but the style that he wants. And once I get the angle, um, I can blend this area here. So I also want it dry that way I can start seeing uh, how it's gonna lay you don't want to do this right here this is what I see a lot of people doing is they're brushing the back of the hair forward and then they're raising the front to the side now what that's creating is that it's not really a comb over you're skipping the blending process that you're supposed to be doing so those type of haircuts you can brush them you can comb them forward do the blend and not really blend the side and then just brush it all the way forward and just the actual comb over is just the bangs. You don't want to do that unless the client asks for it. Um, it's kind of, you know, trying to cheat a comb over. So make sure that you're not doing that. Um, play, pay close attention to how uh, we're doing the blend on the side and uh, brush it, you know, brush it, look over it, try and, 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 and see what else you need to do. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be picking at it and picking at it and picking at it but uh, you don't have to do all that um, the haircut might look good it might have looked good you know 10 seconds ago and it might have been right but um, you can continue to do that I always like to blow dry the hair after I've styled it and, and, and cut because for the same reason we were talking about earlier I don't want the haircut to look nice only when it's wet or when it has product in it so I want to get it dry. I want to make sure that um, your hair is going to look nice no matter what, and it's going to look blended. I don't want it to look off when it's dry. So um, I take a lot of steps into doing that. So it's a, it's a little bit more work, but I promise your customer, client will appreciate it a lot more. We have to make sure that we're making them look right outside of the shop when the pomade and the hairspray is not there. So. Here you can see um, the comb over is, is, is pretty much done. Um, look at how it looks on the side. You still have that length. You still have that length. Um, the tapered on the sides creates that some sort of fade look. So um, watch this video over and over again if you'd like. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, this is um, something that I'm doing for my team, but I'm going to be putting this out on YouTube and Instagram. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than glad to help and I'll uh, post one. I'm going to try and post one every Monday, so be on the lookout.